Hello everybody and welcome to my first tutorial series where we're going to program a small RPG game using SDL and C++. So let's get right into it. First we're going to start off with setting up our project and having everything linked together so we can start coding. So to start off let's create a project and we'll go to the Go to, let's see, uh, uh, this one, there we go. Give it a name, I'm going to call it RPG underscore STL. Underscore game. And let's press OK. Now, what I want, or what we need to, is turn everything off and create an empty project. Let's leave it on console application. We can change this later. But this gives us a window that we can output our debug information to quite easily. OK. Once this is created, let's create another project. So you click on the solution, go to right click, add, new project, and this time we're going to select the same thing, but we're going to call this SD or no RPG underscore lib. There we go. And click OK. But here we're going to click static library instead of console application and we're going to deselect these two and we're going to continue okay so now we have our two projects set up now let's download sdl let's go to the internet uh, let's make it a little smaller Let's, uh, we need two libraries, STL and STL image. STL. <coughs> and I think this one is, this one's it. Yep. So let's download. And we'll need the development libraries. And just the first one is fine. And while we're letting that download, let's look for STL image. So once we have STL image, we want the same development libraries, and we let it download. Let's open the folder, and let's extract them, and do the same for image. Okay, so. Here's our project in our solution folder, which is the, the main folder. We're going to create a folder called LIP libs. Here we're going to store all our library files. So if we want to add support for something else, like loading in an XML file, we can download library and put it in the same folder. And here we're going to create a new folder called STL. And I'm going to create a folder, STL, and STL image. There we go. So this is STL image. I'm going to copy this folder inside here. And STL. I'm going to copy you in here. Now, we could have newer versions, and, and the idea is you can download them and put them in this folder. So you always keep the previous version so that if you want to, if the new version doesn't work, um, you can easily switch um, library versions. That's the idea. But that will be, that will be in the future, far from now.
Yes. Okay, so now we've that set up, we're going to need to uh, make some property sheets. So let's open our properties manager. In my case, I have it already here. But if you guys don't have it, you can go to view and then other window and then down here somewhere, properties manager. Here you go. And then it will get, it will make it for you or open the window. So in our case, we're going to start off making the Windows 32 debug. So let's open it and then we're going to add new property sheet. And let's go to Let's give it a name first. In my case, we're going to call it STL underscore debug underscore uh, x32. Technically, it's supposed to be x86, right? Yeah. Let's just do that. And um, we're going to um, save it in the libs folder in STL. And I'm going to save it here. And we're going to do add and we'll do that for this one as well but instead of new we're going to add existing property sheet and have them link to the same file there we go so now let's open it just double click on it now let's add our libraries and our references and everything that else that we need so in includes so you select this one drop down menu edit here we're going to do new now we're going to go to the folder here to SDL and then we're going to go to includes folder and select that one and we're going to do the same for the image SDL image uh, includes right yeah okay <clears throat> sorry about that and um, yeah so loading in with a uh, with a full URL like this is not very modular. So to change that, Visual Studio has parameters, I guess. I don't know exactly what you call them. Um, well, let's look up what you call them. Um, give me a thing. Something like that. <clears throat> site it's something like this but at least that's the one we're going to need um, you know what the full website I'll look it up uh, there's like a Microsoft has a on MSDN there's a sheet with all the uh, all these commands that you can use in this case, we're going to use Solution Deer. And Solution Deer basically, so you have Project Deer, which would be for whatever project you're in. Like this is a project file folder. So it would look into this folder if you linked it in this one. And if you linked it in this one, if you use Project Deer, it would look in this one. But Solution Deer is the top one where the, the SLN file is found. So it's going to look in here. So if you uh, remove this, and put down it like this. You should be able to um, load in our files. Uh, just for fun, we can check it out. So let's go to here, and we will create a new uh, new file, and it's going to be a CPP file, and we're going to call it main. There we go. And here, let's do make a simple setup. And to check if it works, we can do int uh, hash include and do brackets maybe. STL. Here we go. So as we can see, our linking went correct. So now let's um, add our libraries. 
This is important so it knows where to find a code for SDL, which is pre-compiled into the libraries that we're loading in. So here we do library directories. We're basically going to do the same as what we did above. We create a new one. And we're going to go to libraries, SDL, SDL. And we're going to go to libs. And in this case, x86. And we're going to select that. And we're going to do the other one as well for image. Libraries, 86. There we go. And we'll remove this. And this. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> Next. Let's see if I remember this. It's something, I think it's an input. Yeah, here we go. Next, we're going to actually tell it which library files it should use. So let's go actually look at the files. So here, let's go. Here we can see we have SDL and SDL main. Test we don't need because we're not testing anything. Technically, I don't even know what it does, but it probably has some kind of purpose. So we'll need these two. And we'll need this one. Okay, so once you've added these three, technically, we're done. So, to see if everything compiles correctly, let's look up some um, skeleton code. SDL, um, this code, something like that. Create a window, nice. Here we go, let's, and we'll just copy, oh, that's too far. This, this will basically load an SDL, create a window for us, um, in our case, I like to keep it with arrow brackets. Okay. This tells you that you're loading in an external library. And if I were to reference, uh, if I use quotes, I'm using a file inside the, anyways. Um, so yeah, now let's go to file build or build build in this case. And you can see it's uh, building succeeded. So you might think, wow, we're done. So let's let's run it and see what happens. Uh, it's missing the DLL files. So the DLL files, technically you could go here and copy them, etc. But that's a little bit annoying if you have to do that every time. You either copy it or if you delete the, the debugs folder, it's just a lot of work. So what we can do is you can go to the property manager, open it up again, and there's something called post build options or events. Is that it? Yeah, post build events. So we're going to write a script that's going to copy everything for us. So, um, Uh, I think it was X copy, and it's going to take a slash Y for a yes overwrite, and then we have source and destination. So it's going to be oh, oops, X copy slash Y, and we're going to need. I don't feel like copying it again. Uh, we're going to have to put it in quotations. This. I like to actually go to the place and actually physically copy the, the URL just to make sure that you don't screw it up. Star dot DLL. So we're going to copy all the files. Is that DLL? That's not DLL. There we go. And we're going to do the same for. normal SDL and here right yeah and we're gonna do that 
up here as well. So now we've copied it. Um, so now we have to set destinations. And I forget output there, I think it is. Out there. Ah. Yes. Okay. And let's see how we have a space. Quotation out there. And it's going to be just that. Just the output there. So we're going to save it. Apply. Okay. So now we're going to build. It's going to work, and we should be able to see it copy the files. Here we go. Copy those and copy those. So now if you run it, it's going to create a window. After a little while, it should close. There we go. See? It waits three seconds, and it close. There we go. We're almost done. One last thing we want to do is this is a library file, and this project is going to use it. So we're going to have to tell it to use it. So I'm going to add a reference. So you can go and do add library like uh, previous, or you can just do reference, add reference. So it's going to know um, that you want to use this as a library file. Um, okay, but now we also need to configure it to know um, where the include files are. Yeah. Is this additional include directories? Yep. Here we go. And we can edit. And we're going to select um, this one. Here we go. And I'll do dollar sign again. Okay, apply, and that's it. So next, uh, in the next part of the series, we're going to. Well, what are we going to do? Let me have a look. See. Yeah, we're going to start coding. We're going to start working on the library, building up our classes that we'll need for our simple SDL game, and uh, yeah, we're going to start off with singletons. It's a pretty simple concept and easy to code. It's going to take uh, less than five minutes, but it's an important part. We're going to build up on that. So, see you next episode.